Hello, welcome to Studio Jelly. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video of what I got in Korea. I ordered some skincare and a few other things, but I will show you what I got for stationery. I hope you enjoy it and let's begin! To start off, I got a binder and some refills from Beyond D. You can't have enough of these because they're great for organizing your stickers. So here's the binder, and it already has 30 split pages and one big page. Most of the Korean stickers I get fit this size, but I also do have quite a lot that don't fit this size, which is why I got some different refills. This first one is called Thompson Sticker. I don't know why that's the name, but here it is. It's split into two halves, top and bottom, so it fits shorter but wider sticker sheets. This next one fits sticker sheets that are a bit larger, but not too large. I don't know how I feel about this one because you are technically not using the full sheet. I think I would just rather buy the big full page ones. And this next one is the full page one. And this last one fits photo cards and Polaroids. But I decided to use this for the really small stickers or the removable stickers. If you do collect photo cards, I also have another exact same binder with this refills and it works great. These two books are from RDM and they're actually sticker books. I got an extra one for a friend so I will just open mine to show you. The paper inside is the material where you can stick on stickers and take them off easily. It'll be handy to use when I want to store some leftover stickers from sticker sheets. This next one is a special diary decorating package from Hot Tracks. It's a Korean website where I bought all the stationery from in this haul. This is the 2022 version and it comes with a pouch, a cutting mat, and three sticker sheets. So this is Hot Tracks in collaboration with the brands Love Me More, Pupunam, and Hee Hee Club. I really like this cutting mat. It's small enough that I can store it easily or carry it around. But it's also very thick and sturdy so it'll last a long time. Here are the three sticker sheets from the three different brands. I love how all of their styles are so different. Now onto the sticker sheets. I bought some individually and I also bought some packs. The first brand that I purchased from is Millie Factory. I actually got quite a lot from this brand in this haul. Uh, the first package is called Big Character Blue Package with matte coating. It comes with 8 sticker sheets. The first sheet is called Big Tea Party. Next is called Big Jewelry Box. This is called Big Circus. This brand has different character sizes, and this is the big version. So that is why all these names have the word big in it. This is called Big Midnight Forest. Next is the Big Kitchen. And you can also tell that these sticker sheets have a lot of blue color, which is the theme of this pack. This one is called Big Rainbow.
This next one is called Big Toys. And this last one is called Big Midnight Sky. Out of all of these ones, I think my favorite is the big jewelry box one. This next package is also from Melly Factory. It's called Hot Tracks Only Best Theme Flower. It has matte finish and it also comes with 8 sticker sheets. So when it says Hot Tracks Only, I think it, they're only selling this package on this certain site. Inside, I found a little surprise. I guess this package comes with some extra stickers. It seems like these are not sold separately and they just come with this package. These sticker sheets are all named after flower names. This package definitely feels more spring and summer and super colorful. My favorite has to be this one out of all the sticker sheets. And guess what? The next one is also from the Leaf Factory. I promise this is the last package I got from this brand. I really had to get this one because this package is called Big Character Fairy Tale Pack. It comes with 8 sheets in total. First is Pinocchio. The next one is The Hare and the Tortoise. Little Prince is the next one. There's also Snow White version. Wizard of Oz. Three Little Pigs. Puss in Boots And last but not least, Alice in Wonderland The next brand I got from is called Ochide I like this one because of the colors and all the glitter It's also an amusement park theme It has this background that I can use for diary decorating. This next set of stickers I bought is from Kongdung House. I find this brand really cute. They have certain animal characters and they seem to always be dressed up in these cute outfits. I bought them individually and not as a pack so some of them have glitter and some don't. It's a very cute style overall. I really like this brand. This next one is from Iconic. It's a clear holographic sticker sheet which I thought would be cute for winter themed decoration. I got this next one from Luca Lab. This one is more for photo decorating than journaling.
Pepe is the next brand. These cats are so adorable, I had to get this one. Tomomchi is the next one. I really like the colors and the art style of this one. These next ones are all from Dash and Dot. This first one is more for photo decorating. These next ones can definitely be used for journaling. I love the shopping day one, especially the bunny throwing cash around. This next one is called workshop day and this one feels relaxed and cozy. So I can definitely use this one for a winter theme as well. And this next one is called yummy day and I had to get this one. I love food so I'll put this to good use. Last but not least, this one is vacation themed. I really miss going on vacation and haven't taken one in a long time. This next brand is called Ume Bear. I've seen so many Korean uh, YouTubers using this brand. I'm supposed to go for an afternoon tea soon with a friend, so I think this will be perfect for that day. The next set of stickers is from Bom Bom Studio. I bought one Christmas pack and one individual sticker sheet. I love how this one has some holographic detail. And yeah, I wanted to buy some Christmas themed stickers before Christmas. I wasn't able to find too many since I placed this order in October. But this pack came with three sticker sheets and two of these big stickers. Only the big character had the cut line though. I think I should be able to do at least a spread or two with these three sticker sheets. I really like this brand style so I may have to get more from this brand soon. Last set of stickers I got is from Xing Xing. This came with six sticker sheets. I thought the drawings were so cute and funny. I'll definitely have to use these ones soon. Here are the washi tapes I got. I also have been scrapbooking my washi tapes to just know what they look like. So I'll show you what um, they look like as I put them in the scrapbook. The first two are from Kongdung House. The trend in Korea with stickers and washi tapes are to use washi tapes as the background and then decorate with stickers on top to create a scene. So I want to collect some of these background ones to have fun with that.
This is the ground part, so I can use them with any of the washi tapes above. This next one is from Pepe. It's also another background one. And I'm just writing down the names of some of them. I should have done that for my previous ones, but I forgot. These next two are kind of fun. They're from Yoni Yoni Studio. They are die-cut washi tapes of trees. I got a green one and an orange one for fall. These ones, you have to be really careful when you unroll them. I ripped the green one a bit even though I was trying to be really careful. This next one is from Iconic and it's just a cute pattern. I feel like having these more simple pattern ones would be useful as well. This next one is from Beyond D. It's also a die cut washi tape. Here you can see that this forms the sky and the part that's cut out at the bottom are the top of the clouds. So you can definitely use this uh, as a background. This film strip washi tape is from Rihun. I don't know how I'm going to use this yet but I thought it would be cool for something in the future. This is a washi tape from Ome Bear, and it's also another cute pattern one. This last brand is from Red Bean Village. I found that this is great for putting in borders. I completely missed this purple one, so I ended up moving this blue one to another page and then added the purple below it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'll be back with another video soon. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and follow my socials for more updates. Until next time, bye!